Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna talk about if you can still make money selling websites all right so you have been learning your HTML CSS JavaScript and you want to start monetizing these skills that you have and uh, now you are just a bit worried like can I really make some money because there is so many competition out there uh, I don't know if I can still make some money like selling websites. I want to start freelancing, but it's, the competition is just looks like too much. But the good thing is <laughs> there is a lot of competition, but there is also a lot of demand. And if there is a lot of competition, it means that there is a lot of demand, okay? There is a lot of people out there seeking out for, for people who can build websites, who can uh, solve their problems. So, uh, if, if uh, I'm just going to give you some examples. If you go, if you go to websites like um, these kind of freelancing websites, maybe you are aware of them, maybe you are not. So, I'm going to just like mention a couple of them that they are... Um, they are really popular. Uh, some of them are uh, like Upwork, Upwork.com, Freelancer.com, you got Fiverr.com. Um, yeah, if, if you go to these kind of websites, you can see that there is loads and loads of people and companies that they, they need freelancers to, uh, to build a website for them, to make some changes, to do some fixes. So there, if you go there, um, I, I, I was just like checking these a couple of minutes ago, like there is like thousands and thousands of people like asking for new uh, websites. And of course, as you can see, there is a lot of demand and you can make money in there, in these kind of places. But also, there is a lot of competition out there. There is a lot of competition in these kind of uh, websites. It's, for me, I, I'm just giving you like my honest opinion. Um, these kind of places, I think they are good for you only to get started. In the long run, it's not good to stay in there. Maybe for some people it is because uh, <laughs> you don't have to worry too much like about um, about getting clients because these, these platforms, they have all the time clients coming in there. So this is the good thing that these platforms they have. There will always be people in there that you can go and uh, try to get a, a job out of them. But there is like the, the negative side is that uh, there is a loads of competition. But as you can see now, now like by the title of this video is uh, if you can still make some money. So you, you can make money in this kind of places, but it's going to be hard for you to... Um, to get a better value out of your websites that you want to sell or the fixes that you want to do. Um, but there will be loads and loads of, uh, of clients. Another thing that you can do is start asking uh, like friends and family about if they need a website or not. And you can tell them that uh, you can make it for like a special price. You know, uh, you don't have to charge like too much in the beginning, but this, if you do like a good thing for them, basically after they will refer you to more people and more people will know and after you will start getting more and more people. And uh, one thing that I want to mention in here is, one, one, one thing that uh, when, uh, when I was starting like making websites for, for other clients that um, I didn't have in mind and that's why I, I want to share this video in here with you guys is, um, when you are building websites for, for uh, your clients, let's say if, if it's your own clients, it's not these kind of clients on, um, on uh, Upwork, Fiverr or a Freelancer or whatever. They just need a website for their company, for their business that they are starting out. Uh, you don't have, most of the times, you don't have to be writing down a website completely from scratch. You basically, this is, this is what professional people, they do. They get, they get, um, they get a template, a WordPress template, or they build their own. You, you just have to build one website one time and after you can offer this, this theme, however you want to call it, to several different clients. 
And the only thing you have to change, you can change some colors, you can change the, the logos, you can change the copy text in there. So like this, it will only give you some trouble to get your first initial settlement of this uh, theme, of this website. And after, it's going to be easier for you to sell the same for several different um, uh, clients. Because you, you don't think that you are going to be building the like completely new designs from scratch every time for, uh, for different clients. Because this is what like really kind of really professional freelancers that they charge 10,000, 20,000 uh, pounds like for or dollars for, um, for uh, companies and, and other businesses. So when you are starting out with these kind of things, just get one, one WordPress template. You can, you can either buy it, build it by yourself, or, or build a own, um, own website from scratch from yourself, like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. If you know a bit of PHP to do some contact, great. Uh, but uh, like I said, most of the times you don't have to be building like this from scratch. You just get it once, like already, and after it's gonna be easy to just like start uh, pushing it to other clients. And basically, this is how many business they operate and uh, some uh, design agencies, uh, some media agencies, I mean, uh, this is how they, they do business. They are not building everything from scratch all the time. <laughs> so as you can see, you can still make some money. Let's say, let's say for example, that you are, you are building a, a website for a company, let's say that you are doing it for 300 or 500 dollars. After you have it settled, and the, the theme, like the website and everything, the next client is going to be even easier because you already know how to do it. <laughs> so all, all of these things, uh, it, it's going to be even easier for you because you will have less time and you can charge, charge more money for this. And this is like a, a, a really good thing that you can do because even if you have like your, uh, your full-time job at the moment, you can do this on the side and get si some like extra income. Tomorrow you can get fired or, or tomorrow you can lose your job for some reason. You have this income and uh, it, it's always a good thing, guys. Uh, this, um, this kind of uh, freelancing on the side, however you want to call it. And there is still a lot of people who need a website. Just like I said, ask, ask your friends, tell everyone. Tell every one of your friends, of your family, people that you know that you are... Uh, a web developer, you are a web designer, you can build websites and you and you can start in the beginning, of course, charge a little bit less, but you will see that there is a lot of demand. If you want to go to these kind of websites like Freelancer, uh, Upwork, Fiverr, you can go because you will have a lot of experience dealing with clients. This is the most difficult part of, uh, about like selling websites is dealing with the clients because Clients, sometimes they can be easy to deal with and they can be hard to deal with. It depends on the, on the kind of people <laughs> you, are, uh, you are working with because some people, they will just be happy, for example, if you are selling them your template that you have um, and they will be happy for you to just like change the copy, move some things around. Some other people, they will ask, I need this, I need that. Uh, these kind of picky people, there is, there is also this kind of picky people that uh, you will you will tell them, for example, let's say you are starting out and you are telling them that you are going to do a, a website for $100. This is just an example. And they're going to say, Oof, $100, this is a lot. Stay away from these people because these people are not worth it. These people, even if they are going to pay you the $100, uh, they will ask you after for, uh, for <laughs> I don't know, for what. You are going to be like all the time just like trying to do fixes, this, that, and change this, change that. Th these kind of people, they are horrible to be, to be working with. So, uh, <laughs> they, believe me, trust me, there is a lot of people out there that they will pay the value that you will ask for your work. Of course, you need to, to deliver a, a, good, um, a, good, a good job, a good work, because uh, once you do it, you will get like referrals from other people and everything. But um, yeah, like I said, guys, I, I, I actually would like to start maybe giving like some tips um, 
I'm starting my website, by the way, telmasabai.com is almost ready, where I'm going to be start blogging and maybe I'm going to reference in these kind of videos as well, um, how you can like start actually getting clients and how to deal with them, how you can start invoicing them or uh, yeah, so, something like this. So um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you like these kind of topics or not, because um, I want to help you guys, especially you guys. You, I have a lot of people in here from India and uh, from other places like this that uh, you guys need some kind of extra income so you can support your family. Um, and yeah, the, I'll be really happy to help you with these kind of tips. And um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.